My name is Matt Gare. I'm a junior at Southern Methodist University. I just got back from a project with Ubalong down in Quito, Ecuador last week. Uh, Ubalong campus leader led a group of 14 down in Ecuador working in the markets and teaching English. And what did you take away as a campus leader from your experience? How did you grow? How did you feel impacted? I think, I think the biggest thing was seeing how even small things make a huge impact. You know, we weren't doing, you know, some amazing, we weren't implementing a whole curriculum, we weren't building a school, you know, we were teaching English for a few hours, we were, you know, like, you know, coloring the kids, doing what we would consider a small task, you know, not exactly, you know, the most difficult thing we've ever done, but the impact on the kids and how appreciative they were of that. So really seeing that no matter what your skill set is, whether you know, you've been an international volunteer for 10 years or this is your first time ever going, you make a huge impact on the community you're working in. What was most challenging or frustrating, both as a volunteer but also as the leader of the group? I think most frustrating kind of as the leader and or volunteer is just really kind of, well, as a leader, corralling an entire group. You know, you're in, you know, a uh, you know, foreign community, you have a lot of things going on, a lot of different projects, a lot of different service. Um, so really being able to get everyone to kind of focus, just knowing that things are going to change on the ground whenever you're there, um, and you have to be able to roll with it. Um, really go into the community, you know, it's a different culture. You know, a lot of communities don't view time the same. A lot of communities don't view, you know, showing up, you know, exactly 8 o'clock, maybe they'll show up at 8 5. So, you know, being flexible and allowing the community to change you instead of you trying to change the community, I think is one of the most important things when we're doing a trip like this. Um, for future campus leaders, what would be three things that you would suggest to them in terms of making their life easier? I think definitely develop your group before you go um, by meeting with them, doing some education with them, working with your belong mentor. Um, they're going to do a great job preparing you, but make sure you know your group. You know, get some group dynamics, get some team building there. So it really is, you get a lot more out of it as a team. Um, second, I think while there, making sure you take enough time to not just do the service, but also think about why you're doing the service. Think about the social issues that got you there. You know, think about I'm not just playing with kids. You know, I'm working with kids. I'm teaching them English because of the lack of education system, or because of the issues, you know, with you know, like childcare in like third world countries. And then finally, I think just have fun and just enjoy it. Um, you know, being a leader, you know, going there, you know, it can be stressful at times. But at the end of the day you have an awesome opportunity to make a difference and it's also an opportunity for you to grow and enjoy that and really learn from it.